played for 20 years at the, at the top level and representing my country, went down under, you know, extremely proud of the career. My earliest recollection of rugby league is when I went to high school and I was uh, coached by John Bartlett there and uh, he, he just was rugby league through and through and I, I had my first game of rugby league and I just fell in love with the sport straight away. It was, uh, it, it suited me more than football. People started taking note, probably under 16s when I, when I made the representative team Lancashire. We had another player, Nathan McAvoy, who went on to have a fantastic career himself and the lead scout come down looking at Nathan and we played this game and I, I impressed the scout and he come up and said, like what we're seeing you Adrian and that's how I got the opportunity to, to sign for Leeds and then in my first year there I, I played academy A team and then first team so I was uh, only 17 when I, when I made first team so it was very young and um, once I got in the first team it was um, no looking back then. I lasted at Leeds for six seasons, uh, I loved my time at Leeds, but my coach at the time, Graham Murray, he, he left Leeds and went to Australia to coach the Sydney Roosters and he got on the phone and asked me would I uh, go down under and play under him down there and I was still only 23 years old but I thought if I don't go now I might not get another opportunity to go. I was under no illusions how tough it was going to be so uh, it, and it was, you know, it was very, very competitive, very tough, but I really enjoyed that side of the, the game and uh, a <laughs> little black book and uh, it, was, it started off as a bit of a joke really. Uh, one of the opposition's forwards made a derogatory remark about the Roosters and about the forwards and I just said, don't worry, he's in the black book and then I went out there and, uh, and I smashed him all game and then um, we come back in the changing rooms and the week later Ricky Stewart come up to me and said, right, who's in the book this week? And I just looked at their forwards and just picked a random forward and said, he's in the book. Again, he, he got the same treatment, and uh, but then it was it was a standing joke then. People were coming up to me every week now saying who's in the book and uh, it was a bit of fun, but it was good for me because it gave me a bit of a goal and uh, you know, the second year I was there actually we won the, we won the grand final and I joined an elite band of, of Englishmen to go down under and, and win a title. I decided to come back. My, my girlfriend, who's now my wife, uh, was pregnant with our first child and I was really impressed with what Warrington had to offer, you know, in terms of they had a new stadium and uh, they, had, they had a vision, the owner, Simon Brown, had a vision and uh, spent seven years at Warrington and, and, and as captain, uh, luckily, we, we got our hands on the, the Challenge Cup three times and uh, Made a, made a grand final on two occasions without unfortunately getting the win, but yeah, my time at Warrington was uh, really, really enjoyable. I did get the opportunity uh, the last two years of me of my playing career to, to come to come home as it were and and represent Salford and it was it was just as special as I, as I thought it would be you know wearing the badge uh, every week and uh, you know I still wherever I played in the UK I still lived in the Salford area so it was it was great to to represent Salford I do feel we we probably did underachieve uh, in that first year especially with, with the squad we had we, we had a fantastic squad we probably underachieved but it made it no less special for me representing the, uh, the Red Devils. Out of all the things I've done in my career, uh, I think representing my country was, was uh, by far the most uh, proudest and most special moment of my career. And I, as a kid, it was a, certainly was a dream come true. A 16-year international career, which I think that's uh, a record, but as a 19-year-old, that's when I made my debut, and uh, I was 35 when I played my final test match, and played over 50 uh, test matches, which, uh, you know, uh, very, very proud of that, and each and every time, no matter who I was playing against, I was, I was so proud to, uh, to represent either England or Great Britain.